Welcome back. <laughs> We're about to kick off with the Australian Super Welterweight title uh, from, with Braden Johnson fighting Paul Roberts. Braden Johnson's had 10 fights for seven wins and three losses, and he trains at Fight World Gym in Queensland. And Paul Roberts has had seven fights for six wins and one loss. And he comes from SRG Thai Boxing, New South Wales, trained by Louis Regis. Both fighters just sealing the ring again. So it should be a great bout, this. Both fighters have got some good experience under their belt. And Super welterweight's always been a really stacked division you know, with some great fighters. And it's, a, it's a division that has the skill of the lighter fighters, but starts to come into the power of the heavier fighters so it, uh, it should be quite an exciting battle this one I'm just getting his final instructions and um, I'm sure they'll come out quite hard to start with Both fighters looking in great shape. Here we go. They're already starting with the elbows, so no mucking around here. You can see uh, both fighters are, are working those low kicks to get their range. Blue corner coming in with a really strong front leg trying to block those low kicks. Still just working to try and find their distance and their range at the moment. It's always a little bit of a feeling out process. Quite mobile as well, so moving around quite a bit. And as you can see, the blue corners just as he moves, he lands down on his heel, which makes him a little bit flat footed, uh, so he's a, he's a little bit of a um, susceptible to those low kicks. And as you can see, some of those low kicks are getting through, and he's not quite blocking them. I'm sure that the red corner will just be targeting that front leg to start with. And then when he has the opportunity to work those punches in the knees and the grapple. And both just trying to lock up a bit here, not really working that hard in the grapple, but just both trying not to be dominated.
a good quality first round there. I'd like to see Blue Corner when he moves forward, maybe not not land on his heel so much, just come down on the ball of the foot or on the toes a little bit more so he's he can spring off that front foot a little bit quicker. Um, but I think that his opponent from the red corner is going to target that leg and could be could be a little bit of a target for him tonight. So I think blue corner could definitely work on cutting his angles as well. So instead of uh, following his opponent around the ring, I think if he could start to cut off his angles and um, pressure forward a little bit, he might be able to find his distance. Yeah, there are those low kicks. I think he's really uh, found a spot there he wants to target. The great thing about working those low kicks is it gets into your opposition's head and it starts to open other opportunities for you. So you can see he goes to the legs and then he goes up high with the kicks as well. Yeah, I think this fight's starting to take a, uh, take a, a bit of a process now. So red corner, I think, will just keep keep chopping away at that front leg and it's going to be up to blue corner to see how he counters that and how he's going to counteract that yeah, that was a better check yeah now still not quite getting the check there checking with the outside of the leg which causes just as much damage as getting kicked in the leg yeah that's a better option for him to get in close i think and negate those leg kicks He's actually got some good uh, knee strikes working in there. And he looks quite comfortable in the grapple and quite strong. So uh, I think if he can get in close and, and outwork his opponent in the grapple, then uh, he, can, he can certainly negate those low kicks. But if he can't keep that distance closed, it could be, could be tricky. There we go. I think that leg's in a little bit of trouble. When you have an opponent who moves around a lot and your leg is getting hit, it's hard to move. Every time you place weight on it, it, it uh, doesn't feel very good. Yeah, another really good round there. Both corners just giving their fighter instructions and uh, it'll be interesting to hear just the instructions that are being given. Um, it looks like Blue Corner's telling him when he gets in the grapple to try and give himself a bit of distance so he can work that knee up there. Red Corner looks quite composed. Just taking their time to get out of the ring there, trying to give their man last minute instructions so he's, he's got some uh, good tactics high kicks and then low kicks and he's starting to step up the intensity bringing those elbows in Blue corner should really try to work on keeping that range where he had it and just continue doing what he was doing with the low kicks and uh, and then putting the hands and the high kicks in with, with the low kicks, I think, uh, are his best bet. But getting in close is giving blue corner a much better advantage in there, I think.
for both fighters will just expend a little bit of gas in that grapple. Grappling takes a, a lot of energy out of you and then those knees uh, hitting the body really do slow you down. That's it, that leg kick's coming back there again. Yeah, you can certainly see the tactics from Blue Corner is to close that gap, not give, not give his opponent any room to land those leg kicks. I'd like to see the Red Corner try to break out of the grapple and go back to using his distance and using his range. Every time he's in close in that grapple, there's a chance that the Blue Corner could land one of those elbows. Also, it's wearing him down with those knees coming through. Yeah, that was a good, good round there for the blue corner. I think he just turned the fight around a little bit. Uh, it was going in one direction, and I think it could have been bad news for him if it continued that way, but he seems to be closing that gap and starting to work his way back into the fight now so his tactics in that round have been very very smart um, it's going to be up to see the red corner of this round to see if he's able to get that range back get that distance and, and go back to those low kicks because they were working so well for him and if he can do that i think uh, he could still maybe still get away with the fight um, if not it's going to be a it's going to be a tough close fight The other technique that could be really helpful for the red corner is using his big long push kicks or front kicks to just keep his opponent at a little bit of distance. Corner's out working him in the grapple at the moment and he's just landing those knee strikes which is just building up the points. And it's also wearing down the red corner. Uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to see the uh, red corner really work on keeping that range, keeping that distance. That's it, and going back to those low kicks. That's it. Blue corner's just cut him off and close that gap. Yeah, nice knees. He's really starting to get some nice knees coming through there. Yeah, the thing with the with the grappling and, and the knee strikes like this is it really does tax the energy. It takes a lot of energy out of you. And you see both fighters look a a lot more fatigued now than they did earlier in the fight. And this is a, as a result of this grappling. Pressure's coming on now from the blue corner, and uh, I think red corner looks like he's probably gassing out a little bit more, and his footwork's getting a little bit, a little bit sloppier. So, just from that fatigue seeing in from all that grappling is, is uh, starting to have an effect on that red corner. So I think blue corner's done an excellent job to come back at this point, but the fight is so close it could be could be either fighter in front right now. I think. So it'll be interesting to see how how they work through the last part of this fight. Um, Red Corner really has a big job to try and get his distance back, get his range back, and, and he might be just a little bit too gassed to really make that effective. Um, however, I think Blue Corner's coming on strong, and he's closing that gap quite well. And once he's in there, grappling is, is really starting to pay off for him. Uh, it looked like he did have a little bit of a cut, for, probably from an elbow but it doesn't seem to be worrying him too much. Yeah, 
could all come down to this round, I think. The fighters just come out without a mouth guard, so very important to keep your mouth guard in. Uh, the last thing the fighter wants is to spend the night at the dentist. Yeah, very strong in the grapple and being a little bit shorter, if he can lock on and get in quite close, it cramps the space a little bit for the red corner. So it makes it very difficult for him. And it, he's struggling to get a really good, a really good uh, position there. He's got a better position now, and he can work those straight knees up. But there we go. Blue corner's back in. He's got a good, good dominant position there. And just working him, walking him forward, backing him up, and throwing knees the whole time. Yeah, just. You can see the blue corner's corner is calling for him to throw elbow. Get in close and work those elbows. That's it. Good knee strikes in there. They're both uh, both working really hard. Both fighters are showing a lot of a lot of heart in there. It's very very difficult and it takes a lot out of the person. So it goes beyond training. It goes to uh, having to dig deep and push yourself to places where. You may really not want to go, but a fighter, that's what a fighter does. He pushes himself like this, so. You can, you can really see the fatigue in these two guys now, but they're, they're not stopping. They keep throwing those knees, working hard. They're both going to sleep very well tonight, I think. Yeah, great fight. Well done, boys. Well, I'm not sure who's going to get the decision there. I think it was a very close fight. Both fighters and corners will be uh, waiting to see who gets this, who gets the win here and uh, gets to put that Australian Super Welterweight title around their waist. I can guarantee they're going to be very, very happy with the result, uh, whoever wins this. Judges just going over the scorecard. Uh, the referee consulting with the MC. About to get the decision, guys. Great comeback. Uh, he really fought very well to come back. Uh, I think the early rounds were uh, definitely in, in the red corner's favour, and uh, he found a way to come back. Very, very, very good effort to do that. So well done to Blue Corner. Well deserved victory. I think for the red corner, that was the one that got away a little bit. I think uh, he, he was in a position where uh, he, he was starting to take a little bit of control of that fight, I thought. So he'll go back to the drawing board and see what he can work on and, and how he might be able to perform a little bit differently next time. <laughs> 